memorable to watch it here with the English crowd. Oh, well great. Done. They you know, deserved it. They, they were brilliant. Oh, they and did. what a lovely team. Yeah. South Africa. Yeah, a fantastic team. Well. And I just remember I watched the uh, and then I went quickly went shopping and in the shop, South African family. It was Very lovely. Good. Oh, <laughs> really <laughs> great. I was so happy. Right, okay, shall we move on to the weather then? Because it's been a pretty blustery weekend. Yes, very blustery, lots of showers, lots of rain, localised flooding in many places. But let's take a look at your weather pictures. Simon Arnold photograph a double rainbow in North Chapel in West Sussex. Uh, this is uh, Wimborne, as taken by David Burr. And Doug Yellant's vibrant rainbow in Havant. So we were inundated with weather watcher pictures through the course of the day of rainbows. Uh, we do have a rainbow picture for you, taken by one of our weather watchers earlier on today in Goring by Sea. Now, it is the fourth birthday for weather watchers. There's 230,000 users. So happy birthday, weather watchers. Through the course of this week, we are expecting some at fairly unsettled conditions at times, rain or showers, but also some sunshine, some drier days, and then it will start to turn cooler through the course of the day tomorrow. So there may be some heavy showers overnight tonight, one or two clear spells. The showers will gradually ease during the early hours of the morning, but we could still see one or two scattered showers here and there, especially along the south coast. Temperatures tonight will dip away to around six or seven Celsius, so a cool start to the day tomorrow. There will be one or two showers, but tomorrow's a lot drier than today. If you do catch a shower, you'll be unlucky. They will be fairly hit and miss, but there will be some sunshine in between the showers with varying amounts of cloud and an increasing breeze. The breeze will start to increase tonight and through the day tomorrow, we'll have a keen northerly breeze, certainly taking the edge off temperatures with highs of 11 to 12 degrees. So on the inshore waters tomorrow, the winds are north to northwest, four to six, becoming variable three or less. The visibility is good and the sea state is moderate, becoming slight or moderate and then smooth later. Now the showers will ease tomorrow night, the cloud will disappear and with that it will turn very chilly. The chance we could have a widespread frost first thing on Wednesday morning. Temperatures down to freezing for northernmost areas, especially in the countryside. That's where we're more likely to see the frost. The northerly breeze will continue but it will be lighter during Wednesday. And then into Wednesday itself, well a dry bright start, lots of sunshine initially. Very quickly the cloud will increase and we'll see this area of low pressure bring a weather front in from the Atlantic. So turning more unsettled as Today progresses after a dry start. Many of us will have a dry morning with some sunshine before the rain starts to push in from the Atlantic. So here's the outlook for all the rest of the week. Sunny spells and the odd scattered shower tomorrow. Temperatures up to around 12 degrees, but a cold night tomorrow night. The chance of a frost in some places. Wednesday and Thursday temperatures below their seasonal average with showers, rain on Wednesday and showers on Thursday, but some sunshine as well. Sally. Thanks Alexis. Now, uh, many years ago I got thrown in the brig on board HMS Victor.